Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jason of Jason and Friends, and I thought I'd do a little bit of a fishing video this morning. Just, you know, just to kill time. Uh, I know some of you may not care for for fishing as a sport or fishing games at all, and that's okay. I mean, you can just hang out and uh, just listen to some of the stuff I'm about to talk about. Um thought I'd throw this video together, uh, you know, it's 4.30 in the morning, you know, Monday, April 19th, I only know that because I just looked at my phone, <laughs> otherwise I couldn't be able to tell you what day it was, um, yeah, just kind of, just kind of hanging out, figured what the hell, let's, Let's make a video. The last video that we made was, uh, I think it was showcasing our, our the uh, our Minecraft world, which we haven't been working on all that much. We've actually fallen back in love with Fallout 4, so we're playing a bunch of that again now. Just past level 52 this evening. Probably gonna do some videos on that later on. Just different, um, different loadouts, different weapons I've been using. Got hit by something just now, but no, uh, no dice on a follow-up yet. Um, the sounds messed up because I had it turned off. Um, last time I played this was in, uh, I don't know, it was around St. Patrick's Day, and they had that god-awful, repetitive music from one of the uh, St. Patrick's Day challenges, and I didn't want to listen to it repeatedly, so I just shut the uh, shut the noise off, but now that I've turned it back on, it appears to have bugged out, and that's okay. At least I can hear the casting and um, hear the bells on my other rods, should something decide to bite. Yeah, I'm using two uh, two Creek Pros. They weren't super cheap, but they are the uh, very earliest bottom rods that you can get in this game, and they are perfect for uh, fishing for most fish uh, five pounds or less. Usually, I mean they can handle more than that, but uh, we're mostly going after uh, walleye at the moment. Whoop. Well, that's a good sized fish. He gave it a good smack, so we had to turn the had to turn it down a bit so we wouldn't snap the line on us. Yeah, might might be able to get away with pushing our luck there, but yeah, he's whoa. Yeah, this one's playing games big time. He'll run at us, then he'll back off, then he'll run at us, then he'll back off. It's like there you go, buddy. You gotta, gotta make a decision here, fish. Decent size, whatever he is. Might be a baby pike. Or a chain pickle. Trophy chain pickle, nice. You guys are better look at him. Look, yeah, decent, decent old chain pickle, two and a half pounds. I've actually seen one of these uh, about that size in real life, and yeah, they're. There's something to behold, even for a fish that's not gigantic. They pretty cool to look at. Yeah, it looks like this gold uh, quarter ounce spoon seems to be uh, seems to be working some magic right now. I love my uh, red devil, uh, the red and white casting spoon, but I thought I'd switch over to gold just to see. And the gold one's working it equally as well, if if not better at the moment. Uh, maybe they retuned some things since the last time I played. But yeah, we got a nice, um, nice day here in game because it's really rainy and really rainy days here at Emerald Lake are awesome for fishing. They're always awesome if if, if the weather's rainy and crappy. The fishing's gonna be magnificent. 
if the weather is good, then the fishing is going to suffer. See the map. Oh, it won't let me because I cast. But like the map's got a nice. Pardon me. Yeah, get a nice straight across bar for the fish activity. And that's that's nice because I'm I'm playing this to relax and just um, kind of chill out. Took my medication a little while ago, and usually that stuff doesn't make me feel too good. So, I hyper fixate on my favorite video games, and it makes it all the easier to um, get by the nastiness of some of the medications I'm taking. I hope you guys, uh, those of you that are starting. Monday are having a good day uh, depending on what part of the world you're in this could be the afternoon for you Monday afternoon not Monday morning yeah I don't, I don't know why but this particular oh here we go yeah this particular area has been just let's even get this fish in and get get to this one here right quick because hoping he won't get loose Alright, yeah, great. It's a chain pickle. Come on. Alright. Grab the rod. He won't get off on us. And I'm hoping this is going to be a, a decent size... <coughs> decent size walleye. That's why I'm using uh, leeches and I'm bottom fishing. Out in the middle of this lake, here in Emerald Lake, they're usually um, pretty good. Uh, this location... To my knowledge, does not have um, any catfish, but you can also pick up yellow perch. Um, most of the fish in this lake will bite on uh, bite on leeches. And that's also kind of good because I I actually loathe leeches, nasty little creepy crawlies. But if the fish like them, hey, then uh. That, that's all the more reason for me to like them then. Probably the one and only reason I'd like them. <laughs> you know, they're just, those things are just... Ugh. Ugh. Just creepy. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's less the fact that they drink blood. And I think it's their physical movement that makes them creepy. Um... I have a couple of friends that have leeches as pets, and they're actually okay. I mean, they still give me the heebie-jeebies, but not as bad as the wild ones. I mean, most of the leeches that my friend friends have as pets were actually rescued from hospitals. They were medical leeches that somebody was going to have destroyed, but they ended up taking them in instead. I know it's kind of odd, but yeah, yeah everybody's uh, everybody's choice of pets gonna be different, you know. A decent little uh, yellow perch. Yellow perch, I've heard. Uh, I've never, never had them, but I hear they actually uh, are pretty nice panfish. They cook up really uh, a nice white, uh, white fleshed fish. Um, they go really good with, uh, um, clean them up real good, some eggs and some home fries. I've, I've had a couple of different types of freshwater fish. Walleye's good. Yeah, bass, large and smallmouth, they're both actually quite tasty when they're prepared correctly. And that's usually pan fried with butter. Uh, home fries, bacon, and eggs. You know, it's... It is a fish, but it's not going to have a nasty, slimy, fishy taste to it at all. They're actually nice, clean, white fish. Most of the stuff. Uh, the area where I live in Massachusetts, 
it, it's not really advisable to eat the fish out of the water um, because of previous contamination and also because the water has uh, a lot of the waterways in this area have uh, mercury poison naturally occurring mercury and if you ingest enough of it it can make you very very sick okay well, here's the hope and this is a walleye not another ooh yeah that's, that's a decent sized walleye I think Actually, gonna uh, tone it down one because you can hear the the line straining. I never have them take off and snap me unless I'm doing something dumb. Um, but I'd, I'd almost put money that this is a this is a walleye or, or a really large. Um, oh yeah, nice, nice walleye. You can actually get some really large um, yellow perch in here. I'm not sure if they're the lo uh, largest yellow perch spot in the game. Um, I'm I'm not much of a uh, if I'm going after big fish, then I'll go down to Blue Crab Island and mess around with them, or I'll go uh, after flatheads in in Quanchkin Lake in Louisiana. Uh, or um, uh, in the Heaven River, I don't intentionally target the uh, the flathead catfish because some of them can get pretty sizable. I was messing around one day and threw a uh, whoop, sorry, I'm gonna have to finish that story in a second here. We get hit again. Yeah, I threw a crankbait just being a smart ass and thirty three pound. Uh, flathead catfish decided it wanted uh, it wanted a piece of the action. It took me a minute to get him in, but that was a that was a nice nice catfish. Perch, I bet you. Yeah, this their perch are pretty cool, but I'm gonna do a couple more casts. I mean, I don't want to keep you keep you folks forever. Just, I uh, just wanted to do a nice, relaxing fishing video for you guys and for myself as well. Um, just to kind of chill out, say hi, see how you folks are doing. Um, if you folks see this video, uh, I'm gonna do this now that I don't have to do it in my outro. Uh, just give this video a quick. Uh, a like you guys can subscribe if you choose to you're definitely not required to of course uh, and just leave me a comment let me know how you're doing um, if there's something particular you want to see me fish for please let me know in the comment section that, that way I can target um, particular fish that you guys are interested in seeing fished for uh, a lot of people will do that um, like I'll I'll even name drop right now. Uh, a guy that I've talked to a couple times makes some real cool fishing videos. A guy by the name of Hawkeye. Yeah, him and Dulaka but do a bunch of bunch of fish and stuff. They're they're pretty cool dudes. Yeah, they absolutely love this game. Yeah, and this is the uh this is actually the fisherman vers uh, version of Fishing Planet that I'm playing right now. And yeah, those guys are really, really nice. And usually if somebody asks them to go after a particular type of fish, they'll usually um, usually do that. And, I, and I'm kind of the same way. I'm, I'm open to doing different types of stuff. But you folks have to tell us what, what you want us to do. Uh, Not, not psychic. You have to tell me what's going on. Oh, that's that's a nice trophy walleye. Just shy of five pounds. That's a good fish. Let's get a look at him. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice healthy walleye. 
a head full of teeth. Well, anyway, folks, like I said, I don't want to keep you forever, so I'm going to cut you guys loose. Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, listen to me uh, gab a little bit, uh, do a little bit of fishing. I have been Jason of Jason and Friends, and I will see you guys very soon. Have a good day.